from uh, Daniel Dial of Tone again. One of my last videos I did, uh, I tell you how to spot uh, counterfeit OPA 2134s and how if you're going to buy semiconductors from China that you need to only order a couple like make your first order only ordering a couple because you never know if they're actually a, a rebranded device or not and uh, in the past um, in the past I was able to get um, pretty often most of the time they would be um, legit uh, pin through 2134s but lately um, yeah <laughs> I guess the um, yeah, I guess I'll just, uh, not even go that, not even bother. Uh, so here is actually a, a photo. This is, this, this here is, that, that is a definite photo of a legit, uh, 2134. Uh, you can see the pin one indicator is directly dead center on top of on top of pin one and it's kind of like a, a cratered um, kind of a cratered uh, indicator so here, here are these people uh, I'm gonna, yeah IC market 2009 this is their photo and maybe they did take that photo way back then but um, and you know uh, to their I wouldn't, wouldn't say to their credit, maybe more, I don't know, defense, I don't know. It, maybe they don't, maybe they legitimately don't know that these uh, 2134s that they're getting are uh, counterfeit. Well, I'm actually going to make this video and I'm going to send a link to it, to them, you know, so, so they, can, they can know what I'm talking about and, you know, next time they can... Uh, so I don't know if you can tell, and now I'm actually starting to get able, starting to feel, develop the ability to kind of tell, okay, not, not just, not just with pin one, I mean, that's the dead giveaway, that's, the moment I saw that, I was like, oh, no way, um, but just for other devices, if you wanted to know if it's a possible rebranded, just look at, look at how, um, uh, most most uh, semiconductors usually look. Uh, they they usually have kind of a the top is usually a little bit dull. Um, it's hard to explain. Kind of a a matte finish look to them. You know they don't uh, they're not reflective of light very much often. Um, but look at this uh, on on this side here. You can tell it's that's definitely ink that's that's ink that's the color of ink um yeah and do the acetone test and i already know i already know what it's gonna look like yep rebranded When you find out that you have purchased uh, rebranded components, uh, don't don't um, I don't know unless there's a ridiculous amount of money on the line, don't send it back to them because that's going to encourage them to put it back into their stock and try to sell it to someone else. Um, I highly, highly recommend to. You know, tell them that you're going to report them. Um, that they should probably just refund your money outright. Uh, if they don't, just take it up with eBay. You can also take it up with PayPal. If eBay doesn't help you, PayPal might still be able to step in and force a refund. Uh, but don't sh don't send them back. There's only one good thing to do with these. It's just to throw them out. 